Dr. Peter Glidden, your steadfast advocate for health, here with you today on the end of July, July 23rd, 2020, trying to make some sense of the COVID-19 data. And keep in mind, COVID-19 is medical shorthand for coronavirus disease-19. 19 stands for 2019, the year in which it first appeared. This is different than the coronavirus itself, the name of which is the novel coronavirus-2. So the novel coronavirus, the SARS, novel coronavirus-2, in some people creates a disease, which is called COVID-19, which is shorthand for coronavirus disease-19. You can have one without the other. As a matter of fact, and the first data points to jump into, between 40 and 80 percent and it's interesting that we don't know the exact number and that's a pretty big range which makes you a little suspicious of the scientific method right it's a pretty big range between 40 and 80 percent of the people who are infected with the SARS coronavirus-2 are asymptomatic so what does that mean well, that means the virus isn't nearly as deadly as we thought it was. It's not nearly as deadly as the Spanish flu in the early 1900s, which killed virtually everybody that came in contact with it. And that's what we were pitched about uh, the SARS coronavirus, too, when it first appeared in uh, uh, early January, February of 2020. But as it turns out, it's not because you can't have a very, very deadly virus, <clears throat> which is asymptomatic in the majority of people who it infects. Those two things don't go hand in hand. The people who have who are hammered um, by uh, COVID-19 disease are people with pre-existing health conditions. So let's start here in our attempt to understand this. This is the Johns Hopkins uh, coronavirus surveillance website. It's an interesting website. They co collect data from all around the world, um, active number of positive tests, uh, number of people who have survived, number of people who have died. And when we take a look at these numbers, it really gets interesting and something smells well, for lack of a better word, fishy. Because, you know, science doesn't care what you think about it. Science is what science is. And here's what the numbers from the Johns Hopkins coronavirus surveillance website, real time as of July 23rd, 2020. Here's what they tell us. The death rates from people who have actually developed COVID-19, the death rates, gigantic range. In the United Kingdom... 15.3% of people who got the disease die from it. In France, 14%. Canada, 7.8%. Germany, 4.4%. Finland, 4.4%. Brazil, 37 USA, 36 India, 2.4%. Russia, Russia, 1.6%. South Africa, 1.3%. And Australia, 1%. Now, how is it possible to have this gigantic of a range for people who were legitimately infected had COVID-19 and were definitive, it was a definitive diagnosis and they died. 1% death rate versus a 15% death rate? You've got to be kidding me. 